Today we're going to look at four common misconceptions people have with their computers. Number one, viruses probably aren't what's slowing down your computer. So you've had your computer for a few years now, it's got progressively slower. You've noticed little quirks here and there, you're not sure what's causing it. A lot of people would say, well that's a virus. It's possible that you're infected, but viruses are usually going to cause a little bit more than a loss in speed. While we're on speed, we'll go on to number two. Having a lot of files on your computer also isn't slowing your computer down. It makes a lot of sense to come to that conclusion. You've got all these files on your hard drive, why wouldn't it be slowing down? Unless your hard drive is completely full, you're probably not going to be noticing performance issues. So in general, where is the slowness coming from? Usually it's background processes that are running. Programs that have got installed over the years, you're not even looking at them or using them, but they're running behind the scenes anyway, and they're going to cause some slowness. So running virus scans and deleting files isn't going to do much for your speed. Number three, the stuff on your old computer can probably be retrieved. If you have a lot of pictures or important documents on an old computer that no longer works, there's still pretty good odds that all that stuff can be recovered. So don't count those memories as lost just yet. Number four, PC cleaner software is not very useful. At best, you're just wasting a little money and getting no results. At worst, you're loading up malware, spyware, and everything else bad on the internet all at once. These types of programs are going to promise to speed up your computer by 100%. It'll be running faster than the day you bought it. The reality is, that's probably not true. The way they're going to make their money is running these scans on your computer, and then it's going to find hundreds of things wrong, and all you got to do to fix them is pay them some more money. After it's all said and done, you're probably not going to be noticing any differences with your speed. That wraps up our tech tips for now. If you'd like to learn more about these misconceptions, check out our blog.